So just to get us started, can you provide us a bit of a background about yourself? Sure, yeah. Uh, so I'm uh, Rob McMoran. I'm a researcher, a social researcher in RESAS in the Scottish government, um, which is part of the government that basically looks after um, research, evidence and analysis relating to sort of rural and environmental um, areas uh, of interest to policy. And I've been there for about a year and a half, going on two years now, I think. And prior to that, I was a researcher in, in Scotland's rural college and um, working mainly in the areas of sort of land use, land use behaviours and, and rural development. In your opinion, why is it important for researchers to engage with policy professionals? Um, so th there's, a, there's a whole sort of variety of reasons on the sort of researcher side, I suppose. Um, one of the key ones relates to sort of um, impact of, of your research. Um, I should say from, from my perspective as well, uh, you know, policy professionals engage with researchers at sort of a range of different levels. So there's people within government, but I guess you're mainly more thinking about researchers sort of external to the government, so in universities or, or what have you. So they're engaging with a, a variety of sort of different types of people you probably label as um, researchers. And those researchers in different areas will have kind of different reasons. Um, but from the from the policy perspective, it's, it's, it's about sort of increasing general awareness on the one end, right up to sort of enhancing the evidence base for your policy on the other end. So from the researcher perspective, it's about participating in that process and uh, increasing the, the impact of your work, increasing awareness of the policy areas that are relevant to your work so that you can, you know, um, as a result of that increased impact on those policies, but also sort of involve or sort of get some of those policy professionals to sort of participate in your in your research process, which may be important depending on, you know, the type of researcher you are, the type of research that you're doing, and can also get sort of access, help get access to expertise on the policy side or um, to, to get sort of data, for example, can sometimes help get data from, from the government or from, from, from key agencies and generally kind of increasing your understanding of the policy impact, but also, you know, why might your research be relevant to policy? What might the impact be? Is it relevant to looking at different policy options or scenarios or, or whatever? Try, try to really understand the bigger picture and the potential impact of the research that you're doing. And you come from a research background yourself. Um, what got you interested in policy? Um, I think probably, well, there, there was a variety of different reasons, but I, I suppose one of the key things was around impact. It was about sort of this idea that um, the sort of real world relevance of what you're doing. Um, and increasingly over the years, I suppose, the work that I was doing became more and more, I would, I would refer to it as sort of applied research, I suppose. Sometimes people would use the term action research. There's all these different terminologies sort of out there, but, but essentially doing research that has a fairly direct relevance to different policy areas um, in the sense that the evidence that you generate is directly relevant to the policymakers and might, as a result of that, have a direct impact on, um, you know, you'll probably come up with actual specific recommendations for policy and it might have a direct impact then on that, on that policy area. And I found that interesting. I found that it sort of motivated me to do the research um, in the sense that the end result was kind of being used. And a lot of the time, you know, things get put on the shelf, but some of the time you were seeing that the stuff you were doing was actually having a genuine impact on something. And again, that that's not necessarily always really, really direct. Like it's hard to sometimes say, I did this piece of work and the output was on policy, the outcome of policy was this. Um, but actually some of the time you could see quite clearly that there was a direct impact and, you know, or other, or, or other times it might be more that you're just generally contributing to the underlying evidence base. For example, we did a lot of work over the years in land reform. So you could see that that was kind of helping um, add to the evidence base for land reform. Um, so there's kind of, you know, there's the specific impacts, but then there's also this broader sort of, are you just contributing to in some way to the knowledge base for that kind of broad policy area? So I just found that kind of motivating, I suppose, interesting. Um, it also helps in terms of, you know, ensuring that you're doing stuff that you can probably get funded for. Um, and it depends on the type of research you do. You know, the, there's, there's the very academic kind of blue sky stuff on the one end, which is important as well. And then there's at the other end, there's probably kind of shorter commission projects for government or for agencies, which are a bit more directly kind of linked to policy, but, but are a bit, sometimes you probably label them as being a bit less academic. So it sort of depends where you fit on that kind of continuum, I suppose, you know, between like blue skies academic and more applied stuff on the other end.